So I had this question a long time ago when I was younger. Why aren't more wild animals, large wild animals, bitten by reptiles, bitten by venomous snakes, actually? Um, it, it does beg the question, how many are bitten, if any are bitten, and why are they bitten if they are bitten, and why aren't they bitten if they're not bitten? First, we have to look at why are people bitten by venomous snakes? And the answer is the majority of the bites come from people stepping on them or handling them. So using myself as an example, and, and as well as uh, many of my peers, we've walked thousands of miles. I've walked thousands of miles of forests, swamps, marshes in my lifetime. And I have never, ever been bitten by a snake while doing so. I've been in the most remote areas, snake-filled areas, and I've never been bitten and never been attacked by a snake. So if we look at this, it's kind of the same thing, but the, it is the same thing with the large animals. They're constantly in areas where many of us wouldn't even dare to go. Deer, bears, and other large animals walking through swamps, marshes, prairies. Yet we never hear about these animals succumbing to venomous snakes. I have never found a carcass um, in the wild, uh, at least that was knowingly from a venomous snake. Uh, I have found them that have been predated upon, never as a direct result of being bitten by a snake. And you got to think about these bears, you know, the big bears lumbering, they've got big feet, walking through every type of topography you can think of, and yet not being bitten by a, a venomous snake. Now, perhaps some have survived the venomous snake bite, but, you know, it, there just isn't any proof of a venomous snake bite. Now, I've seen a lot of hogs in the wild, but they're kind of different because if a venomous snake bites them, they're just going to turn around and eat it. Any snake they find, they're going to turn around and eat it because they are pretty much immune to snake venom. So there is a theory out there among herpetologists and enthusiasts such as myself, and it holds pretty true um, in the proof that I have that venomous snakes are not going to waste their time, effort, or venom on something that they're not going to eat, such as a deer, bear, or human, or whatever large animal. In this video by Mark Lauderhand, it shows a black bear coming up to a resting timber rattlesnake. The bear comes right up to the snake, the snake knows he's there, the snake's like, really? And the bear says, oh, you're, you're potential danger, and runs away. So what this shows us is there's also innate awareness in the, in the larger mammals out there of these dangers. So there is a lot of bluffing and there is also a high number of dry bites. We know that to be true in human bites, that up to 78% of bites by venomous on humans have been dry. They lack envenomation and the snake does that on purpose. It's simply, hey, you came way too close. I'm not going to waste my venom. I'm not going to eat you, so I'm not going to envenomate you. Of course, that's not true in all cases because the ones that are envenomated are hurting the snake, either stepping on them, handling them, or whatever, uh, to get bitten. The same is true with these big wild animals. They're not out there handling snakes or playing with them. Now, occasionally, perhaps a coyote puppy or something will get curious. We know that domestic dogs do and they go up and sniff the snake some terriers are probably trying to grab the snake and that those are the bite cases that we have um, that we know about on on animals that snakes can't eat but that animal that snake is being pestered by the domestic dog and so it's the same true rings true with a human we pester the snakes we get bit it's like playing with a bull you're going to get the horns Along with hiking, my friends and I have done a lot of horseback riding in the wilds of Florida and have come across venomous snakes without even realizing it. And I've got a, some pictures here of, of one we were riding in a marsh. And we literally came within inches of this cottonmouth. And I turned around to get the picture of it. That's what the photo is. That's why my horse is pointing towards it. But he never bit. And this was not the first time. This happened on several occasions where we were literally inches from the venomous snake and not nothing was nothing happened to our horse so the point i want to make with this video is 
Snakes are smarter than we give them credit for. They are not these mindless monsters going around and venomating every single thing they see. They are a necessary and beneficial attribute to our wilds, and our wild animals innately know that. Thank you.